The bite-sized Captain Toad stages in Super Mario 3D World were a wonderful side dish, offering a very different type of challenge from the rest of the game. Little did we know at the time that the compact, puzzle-like levels would eventually find new life in a full-fledged game, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Now, Captain Toad and Toadette, his partner in Plunder, have hit the road on a quest of their own, and it's one of the most charming and enjoyable games to grace the Wii U. It has a gleeful exterior, but it's also a deceptively challenging romp, especially if you attempt to uncover all of the game's hidden items. The core concept behind the Toad's outing stems from the fact that their abilities are pared down to the basics. They can't jump, and they don't take on any superpowered transformations. Most of the time, all they can do is walk, climb ladders, throw turnips, and use their headlamps to fend off ghosts. Such simplicity may sound boring, but it works because you're more reliant on the stage than your abilities to get from point A to point B. You're ultimately seeking items that are nestled in hard-to-reach corners of small levels that are dense with paths and possibilities. Ladders, ramps, and moving platforms may yield an avenue to the stage's goal, a golden star. Or, they could be false leads. Deciphering all the interconnecting parts of each stage requires a fair amount of abstract thought and mental coordination. Understanding the lay of the land requires you to rotate the camera around the given stage, which, 9 times out of 10, fits within the confines of the screen. Should you need a closer look at your surroundings, a quick button press makes the camera zoom in on Toad's location. Hidden nooks reveal themselves in unexpected places, but quite often, there's nary an entrance in sight. In order to gain access to these tempting treasure holds, you sometimes have to interact with the gamepad's touchscreen to move sliding objects, spin wheels to raise platforms, and tap Goombas and other enemies to stun them where they stand. It's one of the few games that's best played on the gamepad alone, where you can easily see all of the game's visual cues. You won't spend much time racking your brain to find a path to the goal in each stage, but you will find yourself stumped when searching for hidden gems. At first, you assume these are optional, and you might forgo excavating them, but you eventually need a certain amount to open new stages. So you backtrack, and while this may be a boring task in other games, the smooth pace at which the difficulty ramps up in Captain Toad gives you the skills to tackle puzzles from the past that may have been too tricky during your first run. It's validating and rewarding when you definitely uncover secrets and realize that you've actually learned a thing or two over the course of the game. Two bosses appear multiple times throughout, including a fire-breathing dragon in a rising lava pit and an evil bird that bombards you with eggs and gusts of wind. Every time you face one or the other, the respective challenge evolves gracefully, requiring stricter timing and attention to your surroundings than before. However, save for the final battle, they aren't truly difficult. That honor goes to the optional challenges in each regular stage. In order to truly complete a level, you need to find every gem and finish the level under extreme constraints. Sometimes that means stealthily slipping past enemies without alerting them. Or, you're challenged to find a golden mushroom in an unlikely place that's invisible save for a faint sparkle. For the true treasure tracker, there are plenty of challenges that ask you to look at old stages in new ways. Were Captain Toad's world not so appealing, it would be easy to grow tired of the repeat playthroughs. But the cartoony, whimsical Mushroom Kingdom is easy to love, with layer upon layer of charm. From Goombas and swim rings that flap their little feet underwater, to the tiny bird that lands on Toad's head when he's idly wasting time, Treasure Tracker has a light-hearted presentation that makes the world easy to love. It has the right mix of atmosphere and challenging puzzles to keep you engaged, and it's a great experiment within the larger Mario universe. It may have started out as a minigame, but Captain Toad Treasure Tracker deserves to be in a spotlight all of its own.